Welcome to the Installation Center. I'm Craig Hopkins and we're going to install a quarter panel on a 1969 Dodge Dart Swinger. It's a cool little car. It's a 344 speed car and it deserves to come back uphill. So what I want to do is take my time to instruct you on how to put a full panel on the car. I'm Craig Hopkins and what I want to do in this DVD is help you color sand and buff your car. I want you to be successful. Not everything's painted in spray booth and it does have some trash or maybe a little more texture than you like. I have some tips that I think will produce results for you that you're going to be extremely pleased with. Craig Hopkins and I want to share some tips with you about getting the front sheet metal on a car. It's a balancing act really and everything has to work together. We have a Dodge Challenger right here. It's a true unibody car, meaning that the inner fenders and the rails are all unitized also. A little different than a General Motors car, they all require tricks. When we're done with this car, I think that you're gonna have every trick necessary to get the sheet metal on the car. Now, the fenders on this car are just too rusty to use. We have taken the time to line up the doors. That's where everything starts. The car's here. You know what? I'm ready to get to work. I'm Craig Hopkins and I want to share the tips with you on successfully skinning a door in your home shop, backyard, wherever you really feel like you want to skin that door. Let's discuss a few things and then get into skinning the door. One is, to successfully skin the door, it has to fit the car. And by that, what I'm talking about is it has to gap and profile at the back and at the fender. If it doesn't do that, you cannot successfully skin the door. All of these issues will address as we remove and replace the skin, but I want to make you aware, this is the starting point with the door fitting the car before you remove anything.